is Gracie Ross. I'm the CLS Community Budget Coordinator for Highline and I will be your Chancellor of Cheers for today's Student Legacy Awards. Um, and so first and foremost, I'd like to acknowledge uh, the uh, Indigenous and First Peoples of the land uh, in which we live and breathe. Um, and so for our community at Highline, um, I'd like to recognize the Duwamish, Kosa Halish, Muggleshu, and Puyallup tribes. Um, and then I'd like to thank all relations and tribes today as we uh, continue this program. Um, and so as, as well as you probably joining this conversation from another area, I'd like you to also reflect on um, the, the lands in which uh, were occupied previously. Um, and so as well as that, I'd like to acknowledge the changes and the hectic nature of our program. Um, it's usually in person, but we want to continue to celebrate um, our students. Uh, through this program, um, living their legacy in which um, we all will carry through uh, the present and the past and the future. Um, and so building that and leaving a space for um, future students to come on campus and fill those spots. Um, I would also like to honor our family and community who have joined us through, through this entire process um, and the support that they've given us as students as well as um, our supervisors and everything. Um, now, I would like to turn it over to Dr. Mosby, our President of Highline College, and Aaron Reeder, our Vice President of Student Services, uh, to give a welcome from Highline. Hey students, hope you're doing well. Um, I want to congratulate those of you who have been nominated and who have received or will be receiving Student Legacy Awards. When I think of Student Legacies, I think of exceptional students who have contributed greatly in the classroom and outside the classroom, on campus, in committees, groups, and organizations. So it's an honor and a privilege to be able to congratulate you and to recognize our amazing students here at Highland College. Uh, your work has not gone unnoticed, and especially in a time of challenges, COVID and our ever-changing and developing world, you have continued to shine bright, you've continued to perform at a high level, and have been committed to your craft, uh, be it as a student, as a leader, um, within the campus, and also the community. I'm very proud and honored to serve as your president and to be a part of the Highline family with you and congratulate you on all the successes now and in the future. Thank you. Hello, Highline Thunderbirds. I'm excited to be a part of this year's annual Student Legacy Awards. And I first want to acknowledge that your hard work, dedication, and commitment stretch far beyond just one day. And there's no doubt in my mind that every student deserves to be recognized for their sacrifices and achievements. But today is just a reminder that your advocacy, your leadership, your creativity, your service and your love for the college is unwavering and does not go unnoticed. And so with that, I would like to share with you all just a few of the many contributions that we've been able to experience this year. The Associated Students of Highline College have recognized and certified 45 student-run clubs. 13 students participated in the Northwest Model UN Conference where one student won the award for a position paper. In athletics, the women's soccer team won the NWAC championships. Five wrestlers competed in the national wrestling championships. 59 students participated in the annual winter leadership retreat on Bainbridge Island on community building and reflection. And lastly, students have participated in service learning projects mentorship programs, and celebrated identity through a number of week-long celebrations. And there are many, many more that I'm sure we will hear more about. And so with that, I would like to say thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Mosby and Aaron Reeder. Um, so now we're gonna get into our award presentations. Um, and so all of our student awardees will be receiving one of these. So you'll have this to sort of show for the work that you've done at Highline and recognition of that. Um, and so now we're going to get into our next segment, which is the presentations of our awards.